Okay, in the next tutorial here, we are going to uh, go through losing the game, which is when you get hit by a car. Obviously, you're going to have more cars in here for yours, but we just need the one for right now to show how we, uh, how we get hit. So as of now, we should know how to make the frog move. We know how to make the cars come in and out, and also to reset the position. Right? Every time I start the game, it resets down here to some random spot, and then... Uh, Random spot, but uh, the y coordinate is always going to be the same. So he's always going to be here at negative 146. All right, so we need to make this thing when the frog is touching the bus, he has to get run over and obviously go back to the beginning. So I like to add another costume in here, which we'll call right frog dead. All right, frog got hit by the bus and has to go back. So if this is the frog dead costume, uh, we can make him look a little bit more hurt. One of the things I believe I did was I made a frowning face and I also put black marks over the eyes. I know it's a little morbid, but so I don't want to get hit by the uh, by the bus. We'll increase the size. There we go. Now if I want to get rid of the smile here, I'm going to want the same color of the frog. So we can use this thing right here and actually take that color and now just get rid of it. And right, I'll use my brush. And I'm going to make a black line. And bring it way down like it was before. All right, the frog's obviously upset because he got run, run over. And we also want him to say, ouch, or whatever it is uh, when he gets hit. So we'll head back to our code. We have a frog that's dead right now, and we want it to be coded so if it gets hit, um, it does something different. I find the best way to do this is inside your forever loop with all your if statements that are already in here. We can add another control, which is an if else. All right, I accidentally put it in all the if right now, so I want it in the else. All right, so we're gonna say, if the frog is touching the bus, or if it touches the bus, then the whole sequence of um, changing costume to the dead frog and uh, taking the score away and resetting it back to here will happen in this. So if we go to sensing, we can say if touching, one of our options will be, so if the frog is touching the city bus, then the whole thing is gonna have to happen right there. So we will say uh, for looks, that is when we switch costume to frog dead, uh, we want it to say, I don't know, ouch. All right, we'll have it say ouch for, we'll just do one second. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. We'll have it do for one second. And then, of course, we want it to reset, and we want to get this whole thing right here. So we're going to duplicate just our reset. and have it go back to here. All right, and after it goes back, after it does this whole thing, uh, we're gonna wanna switch back to our regular costume. Might even be good to swap these two. All right, now it's just saying ouch for one second after it switches, but there's no set time where it doesn't want where, where there's no set time right now where it just stays put where it is. So we need to put another wait command in here. So it'll be saying ouch for this one second that it's waiting right here. That will also disable the controls. If we think about in our if else statement, if we touch the city bus, all of this stuff has to happen, which takes one second. And in that one second, it, it's not gonna drop into this if command over here. All right, so we'll start the whole thing and see how we did. Yep, I'm gonna run into my first problem already right here. So in the beginning, I think we'll switch to frog regular. There we go. So now I have my regular frog, he's all happy, he's moving around, and let's see what happens when he gets hit. All right, it says ouch, and resets back to the beginning. Okay, looks like it's waiting a little bit too long there, so I might even bump that back to 
0.5. Right, a little bit better, so we should be all set to go. All right, next tutorial we'll go through um, point values, variables, and uh, winning the game, which is when we get to the water.